Hello, hello everyone. This is Misha and James here. This morning we're connecting kindly. We are out and about getting our day started. We hope everybody's doing well. We are on our way to Lowe's to get some things for the garden. So we're just going to take you guys with us. And James is over there busy driving. Uh, we're going to take you guys along with us today. Uh, we'll pop in and out periodically, show you what we have going. Please like and subscribe. Send us feedback and comments. And uh, just let us know what you have going today. Some of the things that we have planned today is to get some uh, get the cucumbers planted. Uh, we are going to give you a tour on some of the things that we've already done. And because we did some work, uh, James, what day was that? Uh, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. We were trying to beat the rain, so we didn't actually video then. Uh oh, guys, we got something flying back there in the back of the truck. Yes, Oh yeah, my seat cover, okay. But anyway, we're gonna bring you guys along, show you what we're doing, show you what we've already done, and um, you know, we'll pop in once we get to Lowell, we'll show you what we're getting and everything. We got some ideas in our head. So guys, we look forward to talking with you today and you guys working with us, so we'll see you again in a minute. Tell them bye, James. See y'all later. Well, well, yeah, yeah, just see you later, not bye. Guys, so we made it to the store, so old James is getting the cart. Let's see what we have you guys can see it's a little cloudy today but uh, James what's the rain percentage like yeah guys look at these these plants here look at it look at all those little peppers yeah. see the peppers these are uh, counter cuisine galaxy red peppers if you like peppers those right here, these are heirlooms. Those hybrids, so you don't, I don't buy the hybrid. Okay, guys, so what we like those to buy, uh, we always like to buy heirloom. Heirloom seeds. Heirloom seeds. Look, oh, they restocked. Yeah, those squash plant heirlooms. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, guys, so I want to. Yeah. Yeah, so I think I'm going to get me some of these zucchini. And what I'm going to do is put these in um, a couple of the tires. So. I'm going to try to pick out a good size plant that looks good and healthy. Let's see. Let's see. That one looks good. So we'll get one of these. Okay. How many plants is in here? Let me see. Um, there's three plants in there. Okay. And let's see. Yep. And these are the heirloom black beauties oh that one's real nice okay so how many tires do i have i put those in a couple of tires and look guys they even have uh which these wouldn't do too well here in our area but they have the little uh lemon trees and i've always wanted me a lemon tree but our it's not gonna do good here so they got rosemary up there cilantro and what is this down here pineapple sage okay and i have to get some tomato plants here are the tomato baskets guys but okay so we're going to continue um picking out some plants and uh we'll get back with you guys in a minute let's see what they have over here these are the bell peppers i planted some yellow bell pepper because those are the only ones that i could find um that were um Huh? I was looking for an heirloom. I love heirloom. That's the only kind I pretty much deal with. But um, no, we don't want no hybrid. Yeah. So anyway, uh, guys, we're gonna get back with you here in a minute. I think I'm gonna grab me a few jalapeno plants. Uh, are these? These are hot jalapenos. Well, you want the one the giant ones, don't you? I believe so. What's that down there? That's is that hot banana pepper? Those are hot banana pepper. But guys, I'm gonna look for some jalapeno and um, and then we'll be back with you guys here in a minute. All right, guys, so. James gonna get everything loaded up. Okay, hang on guys, let me get my chair so that it can blow out. Okay, so James ended up getting one bag of the flour and vegetable. Uh, soil and then we got some compost manure and we ended up getting four uh, tomato plants one is it habanero yeah. 
and then I got some beautiful um, some beautiful uh, zucchini plants so we're gonna get this loaded up on the truck and then we're gonna head home and get everything unloaded and um, bring you guys along when we get it set out so we'll see you here in just a second all right guys we have made it back and James spotted a snake. I was trying to see. I think that's a turtle way over there swimming. Oh, nothing to walk down there. James is going to walk down and see if he can see where the snake went to. Ooh, okay, guys. So I got me some coffee going. I get that, bring that out here, put my boots on. We did get a chance to talk to some really nice people at at the uh at lowe's uh like-minded people that you know believed in uh self uh preservation did you find the snake okay hang on guys let's see if we can go see the fish all right guys I'm trying to get down here Ouch. He was trying to show you guys a fish, but I don't see him right now. But you guys get a chance to see the cattails. See those cattails? Everything is pretty. I'll show you guys down that way. Well, okay, guys. So, um, I see the water moving. Oh, there's a snake, y'all. See the snake? No, I was looking at the snake. Okay, guys, let's see if we can see the... I uh, can't see him yet. Oh, there he goes, y'all. I don't know if I can zoom. You can see his tail there right around that uh, leaf right there. You see him right there? Yeah. Close that bank right there. He might pop up the Yeah. Guys, we see y'all all kind of wildlife and which is nice but okay well let's see yeah but the snake oh there's the guard can you guys see him swimming <laughs> yeah there you go. right there look it's right there in front of me oh yeah a lot of them out today okay guys well anyway so all right, I'm gonna go ahead and go gather up everything, no, get the plants. Eat. I'm my home. Yeah, no, we don't eat garfish, but I'm gonna go get the uh, plants and then we'll meet you guys back up the levee. Right oh yeah, another gar. Okay guys, getting ready to get started. Got my coffee. James is down there working. Sun has come out. Whew. Let me show y'all what James is doing. So James got uh, the planter put over here, and he's got some manure in here mixed in with the the soil. Okay, and so, and this one here, I've got, that's actually, look, so I think what I'm going to do is just probably split this up a little bit. So these are just the zucchini squash, so I'm going to stick this over here. So we know what that is. Okay, let's see. I think I'm gonna put. You are gonna put two in it? Just base my pretty foot. Yeah, I'm gonna put this one over here, and then I'll probably just take this one, put it over here. That way, give them some space, cause I don't. I want them to be able to grow. Keep that fertilizer in with it. But then I got my own fertilizer too, but I'll fertilize them again like once every two weeks with the fertilizer I got. So that looks pretty good. Now I just gotta get the other container. All right, so that's one down. All right, guys. So, oh, got that one done. Look good, guys? Yeah, All I'll right. give you an A. Give me an A. Give me some. A minus. Ooh, give me some uh, cool air. 
Okay, so we got, um, James has one more container to get ready for me. And um, we're going to put that over over here. Um, we got to do the tomatoes. We'll do that no, container. We got, we got to do that container. James yeah, is going to get that last. one ready for me. And then it's going to go right here. Okay. And um, we figured that, that that tire back over there, we'll probably put some more. Uh, I'll put a jalapeno pepper in there. Jalapeno, okay. Yeah, and then we're just going to get some more uh, bright colored flowers. We talked to some people today. Um, it was a really good conversation, huh, James? Yeah. Yeah, these people were, uh, you know, believed in, um, you know, taking care of themselves, you know, being self-sufficient. They had animals and um, can and they processed deers and everything. So these, you know, and we also talked about, um, you know, eventually that people may have to get back to bartering. And so people may think, okay, well, um, you know, that's kind of old fashioned. But I tell you what, when those eggs went up sky high, it was people around here that had chickens, didn't it, James? And yeah. they were, you know, sharing their eggs with people. So it's going to get back to that, guys. So like we said, you want to try to grow something, learn how to do something and network and, and meet other people. It doesn't matter what nationality they are or whatever, but we need to work together as community. So we met these people and eventually um, I'm gonna to try to, uh, we're gonna set up an interview so that we can go out and see their, you know, their little farm or whatever. But I know they had what, goats, uh, huge Cows. cow. Um, they said they had chickens, um, not sure, you know, what else, but well, of course dogs and cats, but they said they had some other animals, so we definitely want to get with them and bring you guys along. But um, James is going to go ahead and get this other container here together for me. Then I guess next we'll get the tomatoes mm -hmm. planted and we still got to plant the cucumber. So uh, we're going to pause here and we'll be back in a minute. Let's get that warm out. Let's get warm up there. Mm -hmm. Get him out of here. Rob one. Say that for Frank the turtle. <laughs> all right guys so we got both of them planted we're gonna go ahead and see if i can hold the camera here give them a little water okay james is gonna hold the camera for me all right i don't want you to fall <coughs> excuse me now we had our visitor back a minute ago james didn't we well, a snake yeah. the water marks did you water this, uh, the watermelon yeah. today? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I put some fertilizer on them. But them the one, that's why we don't want to fertilize because they like fertilizing to make them grow big. Okay. So I'm going to fertilize the watermelon probably once, not twice, but okay. every two weeks. Who all is going fishing this year? Send us some comments and let us know who all like to fish. James ain't a big fisherman, but he'll go with me. He's so sweet. I'm gonna get him a little more water. No, don't do it. So don't give him no more water? Okay. Mm -mm. We'll do it later on. Okay. You think this is enough? Yeah, just want to wet the soil a little bit. Okay. All right, good. All right, guys. So we got that done. So I'm gonna lay the water hose down. And uh, James is, uh, we're getting ready to go over here and get the uh, tomatoes done. So he's gonna put down the manure first. Yeah. Okay, so I, just, I can do that while I do And this is the manure that we're using. Compost, manure. And James, you also have, tell them about your uh, fertilizer. Well, whatever, well, and I can't think of the name of it. Okay. But they say it's one of the best fertilizers you for watermelon. Yeah, Growing watermelon. I can't think of the name of it though. Get some more manure. Probably gonna put about two bags. Yeah, I'm burning some calories today, huh, James? Yeah. You burning some calories? A little bit. Huh? A little bit. A little bit. Matter of fact, clean up as we go, guys. Yeah. And when you plant these, uh, these old soda bottle, James, need to get over there on the side of that levee out of the way. 
Okay. When I get through, when you put the plant down, I'm gonna have you get the uh, fertilizer and put it in. Enough? Well, get that uh, rake and spray it up. Put that bag right there in there. Huh? The flower going the yellow one. This one here? Yeah. And then just rake and see if it's going to be enough enough for that uh, enough for that bed. If not, just add you some more soil to it. So now you're gonna mix it all together with that with the rake. But see, I'm about to go to the store and, and they don't I get two more bags. The big kind with your five minutes on the other side of these rubber boots. Mm. I'm about to burn up. Well, I told you it's gonna be 80 some the rest of the week. That's right. What you doing? You mixing that in together. Yeah. Just mix that other soil up here. Yeah. There you go, Steven. Man. You need another bag. Just put another bag in there. But you probably put it all the way back down to the end. And go from the corner to the corner this side over here. Okay. Yeah, you need to get your corner to your left. Yeah. If you need some more, just put another bag. Okay. Okay, I'm like it back here. Smooth it. Take some of this on this sticky note. Okay. Alright. All That's right. good to me. Alright. I ain't gonna do your tomato plants. Hey, back hey, there. Is that a walk or a uh, dirt dog? Nah, that's a walk. We're going to have to get back here and plant some. We need to plant some mint. I heard mint is good to keep um, things, certain insects out of the way. Okay, so I'm just going to put one of these in each corner. You know, but I don't you... want to come too close to the front, so I will start about right here. You see, one thing about it, those plants already got fertilized stuff in them when they, uh, you, know, you know what I mean? And plus the, the soil that we use got fertilized in it. If you were handed in the tag, so I think these are, uh, these are red beefsteak. Uh, Tomatoes? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think last year we had a different kind. I'm just going to kind of mound it up around it to make sure it's good and sturdy, you know, in case it rains or something like that. Better hurry up, you have to watch man. Okay. Can you hear him hitting those golf tees, John? Yeah, they can't golf back there. Alright, so we got those two. this last one in. Right there. Okay. 
We just do a cucumbers tomorrow. And then, we're gonna do the cucumbers tomorrow. Oh, we gotta get some more soil on. Yeah, I got Okay, guys, so now, got the tomatoes done. Uh, James says we're gonna do the cucumbers tomorrow. Well, we're gonna build a bed thing up for it, so what I'm gonna do is put the soil in. Okay, yeah. So, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pause for a second. Put my little trash over here. Um, so everything is uh, coming together. So we're gonna go down the hill here and we're gonna show you what we're doing for the uh, cucumbers. All right, James, you can go ahead and pause okay, for a Okay, guys, we had to make another run. Go get some more soil. Um, I just took them down in the water. Okay. And um, okay, so James just brought me my um, and, and I'm so proud because I grew these from seed, so and they're nice and healthy. So, yeah, so um, this is the finished. Uh, let me step back so you guys can see. So, this is the finished product of where uh, my cucumbers will be. And as you can see, I've got the barrier around there so that. Uh, when it rains, the soil won't run down because it's a uh, angle here. And um, James got him some sweet potato plants, Close and we stuff. were look, we hard. caught somebody. Look, we recycled some containers over there. Found some nice containers. Somebody was getting rid of. So get Probably saved us what about forty bucks on those big nice containers. So those are gonna be the new home for the sweet potato. So it's been a good day. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm actually gonna plant my uh cucumber more because see i've got it i want to train them to grow up along the chicken wire so i'm going to plant these right along in the middle not way back here but i'm gonna plant them close to that so that i can train them okay guys so i'll be back i'm gonna go ahead and get these put in the ground there's old mister up there up on the deck this deck is looking good we put our pathway down over there our little wooden pathway and then, yeah, James got him, um, he's got jalapeno plant over there too. He's gonna get that put in one of the tires. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys in the uh, ground and then I will show you the finished product. Be back in just a minute. Okay guys, so I am back. So we've officially have the little cucumbers planted and they are looking healthy. And these, I started with um, seeds, seedlings. So I'm so proud of those. And so here's the little cucumber patch. So uh, James is up here um, conditioning another uh, tire. He's gonna put his, uh, he went and got him a um, jalapeno plant. Is that right? Yeah. He's gonna take his jalapeno plant. And he's gonna put it in that tire. So, um, yep. Yeah. So let's just, I guess do our last, tour guys and show you okay, everything yep we were supposed to get some more flowers but somebody was rushing me out of the store mm -hmm. okay so he's gonna finish that off so we got the cucumbers here let's come on back up sun came out nice and bright okay so we've got um uh, squash purple hole peas here this is gonna be the container. James has to take it and put some holes in it uh, for drainage. That's gonna be a uh, home for the uh, sweet potatoes. We've got a uh, habanero here. We've got a big bed of purple hull peas. As you can see, the little guys are doing absolutely wonderful. This is an empty tire. Um, I may, I don't know what we're gonna put here. I may just put some more uh, flowers over here. Um, this bed is another bed of purple hull peas. Got our marigolds, watermelons, more marigolds. Okay, let's go on back down. And we're trying to clean up as we go. We got rid of one of those tubs of trash. We're trying to clean. James is planting his, uh, he's gonna go get some rain water to put. Uh, he's gonna plant his habanero there. So let's come over and my sister-in-law Helen gave us this trusty little walkway and then eventually I'm going to try to put some um, some square blocks to make a little pathway here um, we got our yellow bell pepper 
our freshly planted zucchini, zucchini, our yellow watermelon, yellow meat watermelon. Okay, so he went and gave that some water. Then we have the bed of the beefsteak tomatoes planted. Now this year, I told my husband I didn't want to use uh, the baskets. I kind of want to use the uh, some tomato, the bamboo sticks to brace them up. I feel like that would work better. So I'm gonna try that this year. Ooh. Oh, are you planning? All right, let's see what James got going. All right. So he got his uh, jumbo jalapeno. And this is the hot jalapeno. So you guys know it won't be me eating those. All right. So he got that guy put in the ground. All right. You can kind of see the cucumbers from here. Let's see if that push my shot. I can always put another one here. Yep. Two and I can put another one. Okay. Been a very productive day. I am hot and dirty, guys. Okay. So we got greens, greens, and then we got our peach tree. Um, and I think um, these strawberries are going to be transplanted somewhere. I'll keep you guys posted on where I, I put those. Well, no, I'm, I'm going to use uh, the one, the two black uh, containers. I plan on using those, so I will be moving the strawberries uh, out of there. But I think uh, overall, you know, we're getting things cleaned up. Looks a whole lot better than it did. Uh, yeah, we're going to try to add some more flowers, make things pretty. And um, I got to work on my uh, tomato plants that I grew from seed. I want to try to the method of hanging those in the bottle and see how I get those to grow. Yep. So we are tired, everybody. Thank you so much for being with us today. We love you. We appreciate your support. And all the encouragement um you know we thank you for your comments and everything be blessed and um you know we're gonna talk to you guys again soon and let's get james to say bye to everybody all right bye guys